We just released LiveWeb version 1.1 with keyboard shortcuts, M1 Mac support, a heavy focus on stability improvements and bug fixes. Let's first look at the keyboard shortcuts. With the number row, you can control what preview to select. Control and number lets you choose the program. Pressing enter sends a cut signal to the switcher. Command enter will send an auto command. Using control tab, you can go from switcher to video queue. On the video queue page, you now have the option to use the spacebar for play and pause. You can also use the arrow keys to skip 15 seconds forwards or backwards and also use the up and down key to choose between the videos in the playlist. You can always press command to check what keyboard shortcuts you could use. Now let's have a quick look at the Mac version of LiveApp. When opening LiveApp on the Mac, you see two screens. One is LiveApp control and one is the video output. Simply take the output screen and drag it over to your secondary screen and enter full screen mode. This way we're sending full screen video to the Artem. LiveApp essentially works the same on Mac and iPad. You can of course use the new implemented keyboard shortcuts and you can import videos from your photo library of files. Because macOS supports ProRes Alpha, we now also support ProRes 444 Alpha on the overlay page. We really hope you like our new update. Should you have any more questions or should you run into issues using LiveApp in your setup, please leave a comment or contact us directly.